The NACA was formed by Act of Congress in mid-1915. The acronym stood for National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. Its original purpose was to advise the U.S. government on matters pertaining to the development of aeronautics. The NACA went on to do a number of notable things. The most prominent were the development of the world's first pressurized wind tunnel at Langley Field in the mid-1920s. They went then in the 1930s on to develop the famous NACA cowling, and also they went on to conceive of the idea and work out the details of the laminar flow airfoil. Those all became highly used in the aircraft industry. During the Depression, the Great Depression, money was uh, hard to come by. The load on the Langley Laboratory was becoming considerable. The NACA laboratory at Langley Field in Virginia was overbuilt. There was no room on the tarmac for flight research aircraft. There was no room for wind tunnels. Most importantly, there was no electricity available to drive any new wind tunnels that could be constructed there. We are on the verge of war, for which we are, are still unprepared. The American Army has only a few hundred thoroughly modern bombers and fighters. Less in fact, than Germany is able to produce in a single month. Trips were made to Germany by George Lewis, the director of uh, NACA, and Charles Lindbergh, uh, to see what was going on in Germany. What they did see uh, really opened their eyes. Germany was far ahead of the United States in aeronautical research. It seems to have been a growing consensus among the military in particular, also the NACA, and some growing feeling in the Congress that something needed to be done. A, our only laboratory is on the East Coast. B, the aircraft industry is moving to the West Coast. We ought to establish a second laboratory. A site selection committee was formed under Colonel Lindbergh. The NACA itself finally came up with a proposal to put a laboratory near Sunnyvale, California. The final act of Congress to fund the new laboratory here at Sunnyvale was in June of 1939. Why Moffett Field? It was located on the West Coast, close to the West Coast aircraft manufacturers in Los Angeles and Seattle. And probably most importantly, there was a craft tradition in the Bay Area. Uh, this came in very handy when Ames had to build huge wind tunnel hulls or um, very tiny electrodes that served uh, for very uh, sensitive instrumentation. Joseph Sweetman Ames was professor of physics and later president of the Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore. He was also a founding member of the NACA in 1915 and served as the chairman of its main committee from 1927 until 1937. And because of the integrity and the trust that people in Congress and in the executive branch of the government had placed in Jesuit Sweetman Ames, the laboratory here was established, and in 1944, it was named after him. Mm -hmm.